Hi guys, welcome to another video. Recently, there have been lots of activities going on in the market, and probably some of the things may change by the time you are watching this because things are changing so fast. And I actually pre recorded this video, but I'm still doing my best to roll out my video as soon as possible, despite there are more viewing schedule recently. So, today we will talk about will Singapore property market crash? especially in this few months time because some customers told me they have foreseen another crash is coming soon especially during the before the US election which is partially due to the political turmoil COVID and the unemployment etc besides our local economy also contracted by 13.2% in the second quarter so with all these negativities that causes more fear to the market sentiments which I can recognize many home buyers will be worried and concerned so this is the reason why I am doing this video hopefully could give those who are planning to buy their house or getting your matrimonial home have a better understanding on our property market in another perspective but first of all we have to recognize ourselves are not Americans we are Singaporeans and we had just celebrated our 55 national day however i do agree what happened in the us uh, will somehow affect us but we may experience it differently just like in the 2008 and 2009 because our singapore property market is more unique in the way comparing with other nations in the world and in actual fact we are already in a recession but somehow our property market seems to be more resilient why is it so let's take a look at the primary market recently HDB had launched more than 7,800 BTO flats besides the car free town Tenga the new BTOs are also in Chuachukang Woodlands as well as the mature estate in Amokyo Geylang Pasir Ris Tampines and Bishan so a total of 11 housing projects was launched and the highest application rate is in Amokyo with around 20 applicants for each 5 room flats and are the most expensive flats in this exercise with the price range from 571000 to 725000 and the next is in Geylang with around 14 applicants for each 4 room flats that means we still be expecting a strong demand in picking up the supply of the new flats and that is why our government is still offering more supply of BTO flats in November with around 5,700 units trying to meet the demand as for the private new homes although there isn't much upcoming launches and the land supply from the URA but there was a price increase in the mass market condo recently like the Florence residence riverfront and park i star etc and why is that so because the developers probably aware that the new homes supplies are running low and the land supply are cut and furthermore the upcoming launches are only a handful with penrose is one of them which everyone is actually talking about it therefore the market is entering into a selling leftover units situation with the supply of new homes will be limited and the upcoming new launches may sell at a new price tag because of the construction and land cost increase so probably you will have saw the developer instead of retaining their price ah they actually increase their price eh? especially those condo in the mass market where mostly are more affordable for ordinary Singaporeans therefore the sales of new homes for July last month was the highest monthly sales in 8 months 1,080 new homes were sold so we will expect to see the following demand taking up the remaining stock clearing the leftover supply of new homes in the next few years time 
lastly the recovery will be some time yet and recovery is likely not to be smooth but as long as there is demand for homes the overall stability of our property market will maintain it is because property market is driven by demand and if the demand is lessened or overestimated the developers or HDB can launch fewer flats or private homes in the coming years until the inventory of the unsold units stock fall back to the acceptable level so this is what is happening furthermore the cooling measures are still intact and, um, and most likely will not be lifted at the moment now because the property market is heavily monitored by our government and the policy and the cooling measure are here to keep the property market stable not speculation so if really a crash happened in US especially in this few months time we might not be experiencing it the same way as the US finally I hope that this video could help to address your concern and could see the whole picture in a macro perspective of our property market and if you're planning to get a home soon, especially from the primary market, so please work out your sum and buy within what you can afford. So this will come to the end of my video and hope that it is too, not too lengthy as I try to squeeze in to explain as much as possible. So if you like this video, please give a thumb up, share and subscribe to my channel. And please comment below if you like to find out more on other property issues, I will do my best to answer them in the next video. So, I will see you soon. As always, stay safe and take care.